Alright, what's going on guys? Yes, Fortnite Project back at it again. As well, this guy, Brother Chris. Yeah, that's right, Brother David. Thank you so much for having me over again today, buddy. Uh, we we had a good evening yesterday. Had oh, a, yeah. you know had some good times yesterday, mm -hmm. and uh, did a lot of things so far today. And uh, yeah, tell them why we're here, Brother David, on your channel. Yes, we're well, here on the Fort Minor Project channel. Decided to bring back well, kind of like the old school format. We're going to be able to bring in the hot seat, not so live, but pre-taped. Pre-taped. Indeed. We're getting it done, though. <laughs> we're we getting it done. Yeah, yeah, we're moving it along. But I'm uh, going to talk about a couple of things, not a whole lot, just... A uh, couple of things. Yeah, a couple of things, a couple of changes, too. And uh, getting into this Sunday, tomorrow night, as a matter of fact, we got tables, ladders, and chairs. Now, of course, most recently, I did my predictions video, so yep. um, I guess it basically came about, what was it, yesterday that we found out the news? Yeah, yesterday. Um, well, what the heck were we doing? Oh, mm -hmm. we were at Golden Corral, right. stuffing our faces, mm -hmm. getting overly stuffed on that good food, so and, um, you know, because, uh, yeah, and, you know, I checked my phone, mm -hmm. I, you know, a couple of people... Tweeted me, a couple people PM'd me. We had uh, Brother Raphael LaDuke, he PM'd me. And I had Old School Gamer Mike Groff mm -hmm. on Twitter telling me all about the new changes. Yeah, and uh, with those new changes now, there's a virus that's been going around. And I've seen, you know, a couple of things on that and with the news and stuff. Uh, a few wrestlers were able to have it, but apparently that seemed to have spread. So that's basically why some of the wrestlers haven't been around. So um, depending on who else will have it, but hopefully no one else does get the virus that does suck. So with that, we have some changes. Now apparently we were supposed to have Finn Balor and Bray Wyatt, but that match... Sister Abigail! Oh, Sister Abigail, excuse me. <laughs> but yeah... Uh, Finn Balor is going to be facing who now? Bray, uh, it's not Bray Wyatt or no. Sister Abigail. It is going to be none other than Finn Balor going up against AJ Styles. Mm -hmm. um, one, the leader of the Balor Club. The other one is the former leader of the Bullet Club. Mm -hmm. And, uh, or is it this? Mm. I don't fucking know. I can't keep up with it. Mm. But yeah, um, this match I am going to look forward to. Uh, it is, all, this also has the making of a really good, like, you know, indie type of match. It's going to make the oh, yeah. indie boys wet mm. their pants, if you will. Um, but I know, like I said, I for one, um, you know, I like... Finn Balor a lot. I like AJ Styles a lot. And um, they got a lot riding on this match. Um, Bullet Club, the Balor Club, uh, kind of one in the same, sort of. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, I think it's going to be one hell of a match, personally. Yeah, I like that, too. And how they're basically all in the same group. So I was kind of thinking maybe the club would have a little interaction with Finn Balor and AJ Styles, possibly before the match. Like, in a backstage interview or something like that. And I can kind of see that, if that does happen. Yeah, you know, and it just, it really surprises me that they called up AJ Styles mm -hmm. to the Raw roster for one night. Yeah, that's like an interpromotional match. It right? really is. I mm -hmm. mean, um, and maybe this might make the WWE rethink their strategy when it comes time for mm -hmm. the brand split or the... Sure. Uh, well, not the sweepstakes, um, the, uh, because yeah. sweepstakes are winnings, mm -hmm. um, but the draft, yeah. you know what I mean? We got the shake-up, too. The shake-up, uh, mm -hmm. so I think they, this might, maybe, might make the WWE think twice when it comes time for that, maybe put things on a normal plane again, mm -hmm. um, even though things are going, you know, decently well with, you know, the brand split, but, um... It's just in times like these, mm. you know, because I, I don't know who else would have been a decent opponent for Finn Balor considering, you know, most of the other people, guys like 
you know, your Seth Rollins, your Dean Ambrose, um, mm -hmm. you know, they're going to be in their match. Um, so I don't know who would have really made a good opponent for Finn Balor. Um, mm -hmm. But it just, it surprises me that they called up AJ Styles for it. Yeah, I don't know how they hooked that up, but they were managed to be able to do that. The other person I could really think of, but he's injured right now, is Samoa Joe against Finn Balor. If he yeah. Injured. But that's really yep. about it. Cool. Yeah, but uh, yeah, AJ Styles versus Finn Balor. I'm pfft, shit, man. I'm looking mm. forward to it. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. That's gonna be dope for sure. It is definitely gonna be, as you yeah. would say, dope. <laughs> All right. So then, of course, we know we got the Shield. Now, basically, they return, and it was more for like viewership and ratings and stuff like that. Just to get people excited, and apparently it wasn't supposed to last long, which really does suck on that and everything, um, in terms with the whole virus thing and everything. So now, Roman Reigns is out, so we do have another replacement, and that is where things are going to get interesting. I did not expect that to happen, at least not right now. This, you think, would probably happen at WrestleMania. There's ideas, there's ideas, there are ideas. Mm -hmm. Now, um, who are we talking about? The mm -hmm. replacement for Roman Reigns because Roman, old cockfist, is, yes, out, as you said, with the virus. Right. And it is none other than someone who is coming out of retirement. Mm -hmm. He's got his three eyes. And uh, he does. you better believe it because it's, it's real. It's damn real. Um, talking about none other than uh, Kurt Angle. Mm -hmm. Kurt Angle is going to join the tag team champions, Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose, to take on the monster Braun Strowman, mm -hmm. Kane, The Miz, and uh, The Miz mm -hmm. So, with that being said, my own personal thought... Um, the thing is, is that there are so many ideas out there. Some people think that Roman is really not sick, and um, Roman is going to come out and maybe beat the hell out of Angle and play a, or either that, or even come back and have it be a like a four on five match. Um, could happen. It could happen, or maybe somebody might jump Kurt Angle and have have it be. Uh, Jason Jordan take his spot. Mm. And if that's the case, things aren't going to look good for uh, the Shield and possibly Jason Jordan. Unless they make it even and have someone else. Like yeah. Maybe Jason Jordan and someone else being like, I can see maybe Matt Hardy. He's had his fair share of problems with Braun Strowman. Mm -hmm. So he's not really doing too much. So that could happen too. Yeah, no doubt about it. I mean, so, but I, I do hope, I do hope that, you know, Kurt gets to keep wrestling. Yeah. Uh, like, nothing's going to interfere. We're going to see a good full-on match mm -hmm. with Kurt Angle. Maybe have him put the ankle lock on The Miz. That would be fun. Yeah, the ankle lock, um, the ankle slam, all that good stuff. Yeah, so, but uh, mm -hmm. it's, it's going to be an interesting night. TLC yeah. is going to be an interesting night. Especially, too, with the pay-per-view is not really going as well as it should be. Basically, there being one or two match shows, and WrestleMania 33 only being the best show of the year so far. So maybe TLC might be that change. It could be. It mm -hmm. could happen. Depends on how the other matches go. Because, yeah. so, you know, yeah, keeping in mind, I mean, we still have, mm -hmm. you know... The cruiserweight title is on the line. Yeah, a rematch with Callisto versus um, uh, Enzo Amore. Yeah, a the women's championship matches. is on the line. Mm -hmm. uh, Alexa Bliss is uh, what? She's going to go up against Sasha Banks now. Mm. From what I saw. I don't know if Mickey because she was sick or anything. Yeah, I didn't hear anything. About Although it is supposed to be Mickey, you're right. Yeah. I was thinking of another match. Unless was, she does get. Sick, I was thinking yeah. of another match. It was supposed to be. Mm -hmm. Uh, Nia Jax, I think, versus Sasha. Well, we got uh, Sasha Banks and Alicia Fox on that. Team. Yes, mm -hmm. that's the replacement for that. Mm. 
thing. So, and I think there's another, there's another match on, I think, on the card. A couple more matches, but I can't think of Yeah, nothing. and I expect, like, the filler stuff, like I said. The filler course, stuff. Yeah. Unfortunately, because we get a lot of filler. We mm. do. Yeah. We got more filling than an Oreo cookie. Mm. Double stuffed. Yeah. But that's basically in terms of that. And just kind of curious, too, now with the final topic. Uh, now Sister Abigail is not going to be basically Bray Wyatt. So that's fine. At least he won't be able to have to play Bray Wyatt himself and as well, of course. And you know, and so many Abigail. people are relieved about this. Yeah. Um, personally, I mean, I didn't care. Mm. But a lot of people on Twitter are just bitching and yeah. moaning. And it's like, oh, yeah. this is going to be horrible, you know, blah, blah. Because, yeah. all because, you know, it's, in essence, it's the same match. You're still, you still have Bray Wyatt, but he's got this, you know, um... He got a different look. Really. He had a different look. He put on the look of Sister Abigail. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people are complaining about the fact that, oh, it's making fun of the LGBT community. It's like, Not get really. the... It's like, get, it's like, get the fuck out of here, you know? Yeah. I mean, I, you know, and people don't... They never complain mm -hmm. about when Santino Morella dressed up as Santina... Um, or for that matter, going back to WrestleMania 12, mm. Goldust being stripped out of his suit and having women's lingerie underneath his suit. Mm. So, I mean, there's yeah. been a few people here and there that have had these feminine type characters or dressed up as like, you know, women or whatever the case might be. Yeah, so and it's like... Fun. You know, what? it's like, what the fuck are you really bitching about? Mm -hmm. You know? It yeah. doesn't make sense to me. So, mm -hmm. it would have just been a different persona of Bray Wyatt. The resurrection of Sister Abigail through Bray Wyatt. Yeah, I can see that. It seems like it would have been that way. But now there's names that could be happening that I've seen that could actually be Sister Abigail. Maybe it would be someone that's new. Maybe somebody that's there, or possibly somebody that's returning. Yeah, see, and, you know, we talked, or you had talked to someone on Twitter, mm -hmm. and I can already tell you, I don't, it, two people are definitely not going to be it. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be Bray Wyatt and Bo Dallas's actual blood sister. Mm -hmm. She's busy being like a, something that has to do with fitness and being mm -hmm. some kind of internet guru on Instagram. Right. So it's not going to be her. Mm -hmm. I know, another one I think. And it's, it's not going to be Rosemary. No, because we know she's a part of Impact Wrestling right now, getting ready for Bound Blue Glory, which is coming up pretty soon. And right now, I don't think it's going to be Nikki Cross either. Mm -hmm. Even yeah. though Nikki Cross would be, even though Nikki Cross and Rosemary would be the perfect fit for a sister Abigail, but that's not going to happen. No. Um... I know I saw, like, Victoria out there was one of the names, possibly, but I don't know. We'll see. But I guess it could kind of work. Just got to change her up a little bit. We haven't seen her in a long time. Uh, <laughs> yeah, she's busy with her restaurant in Chicago. Yeah, true. So I don't think it's going to be that either. Yeah. For some reason, I saw Paige in there, but I don't think Paige would be... Paige would be that. fun. Yeah. Paige would be a fun Sister Abigail. Mm. I'd like to know Paige Guy's thoughts on that. Yeah. <laughs> leave the comments down below. Even though leave he's not your, leave Paige your, Guy anymore, I know. Leave your comment, the Duke. <laughs> he's the still Duke. Paige Guy to us. <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of possibilities. I'm going to actually be surprised at it. I think it's going to be somebody that we least expected. I'd like to see somebody returning that we haven't seen in a while. Beyond. Yeah, I, I, but I don't know who necessarily it would be. Mm -hmm. um, you know, wouldn't it be funny if Lita was going to play Sister Abigail? Oh my. That would be different from Lita. That would be different. Yeah, I mean, she has played a heel before, but this would be a different type of heel for her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, you know, the thing is, I think with how dark Paige is, mm -hmm. like she's into that whole goth thing. That could work, though. They could get away with it to be Paige. Yeah. And, uh... Mm. But that's just, you know, the way I would think about it, but... And it'd be cool, too, because then she can wrestle and be Sister Abigail. Yeah. 
Yep. Well, we'll have to see what happens with that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but, so, I think that's about it with, uh, in terms of the topics and everything else. Unless you have any final say. Uh, no, I really don't have any final say. Um, other than the fact that, you know, something that doesn't have anything to do with, the, with WWE, but... Mm -hmm. Just want to give a shout out to my brother David because he ended up uh, telling me about an app called Pluto TV. If you don't have it, you should have it, especially if you're a fan of TNA Impact Wrestling, mm -hmm. um, especially the older footage. Um, go get yourself Pluto TV. Yeah, we'll be checking out uh, some Genesis 06. Yep, so. Genesis 06. We watched that last night. Um, Kurt Angle versus Samoa Joe, Sting versus the Monster Abyss. Mm -hmm. LAX versus America's Most Wanted with Gail Kim. Uh, the phenomenal AJ Styles versus your boy, yeah. Christian Cage. That's a WrestleMania match right there. Uh, Our Truth and Lance Hoyt versus Alex Shelley and Austin Starr, a.k.a. Austin Aries. Mm -hmm. um, and I gotta tell you, Austin Starr, yeah. a.k.a. Austin Aries at that point in time, mm -hmm. looks like my boss. <laughs> I didn't realize he had that spiked up hair yeah. like that. Yeah, Christopher Daniels versus Chris Saban. That was for mm -hmm. the X Division Championship. The Naturals, uh, led by the franchise Shane Douglas, mm -hmm. versus Jay Lethal and Sanjay Dutt, and the Voodoo Kin Mafia, a.k.a. Mm -hmm. the New Age Outlaws, taking on Matt Bentley, Johnny Devine, and Kazarian. Yeah. But definitely a good pay-per-view. Yeah, yeah, it was. And this I actually got, uh, I believe... For one of those ground bag specials too, I think when I went to one of the events, it came in handy. Awesome sauce. Yeah. So that's basically about it. Decided to bring back in the hot seat. It's yeah. Been, uh, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah. But till then, that about does it for me, Mr. Fort Minor Project with the many projects. And yep. The Mr. man of many projects. See. <laughs> and, and I'm Ma and I'm Chris, aka Boston Fan seventy nine V one. That you are. That's right, I am. Check me out on Twitter and Instagram. No, you Although, can't. mostly Twitter. And whenever I'm around on YouTube, go check out my channel. <laughs> there you go. So definitely tell Lily any thoughts and all that stuff in the comment box. Check out the rest of the other stuff. Subscribe, hit the notification bell. And as always, we'll catch you guys. Yep, we'll, we'll see you guys on the flip side. In the next video. See whenever ya. the fuck that may be. Who knows? See ya.